So you might be asking yourself why I'm uh, doing a fishing video and I'm back at the house doing the narration part of the video is because my video camera decided to be on the fritz this morning when I was doing the narration part. So it looked like total junk. Trying to salvage what I can and do the video out in the garage. It's about 115 degrees out here right now, so I'm sure I'm going to be sweating a little bit. So I had a chance this morning to go out fishing. I haven't been fishing in a long time. So I decided to go out to Lake McMurtry, uh, which is just a local lake here around in Stillwater. And when I got out there, my goal was to catch a, some fish on a topwater. I used several topwater baits. I use a whopper plopper. I use a buzz bait with a frog on it. And I used to also use the popper. And I just couldn't seem to get a fish to commit to a top water bait. I also tried some other baits, uh, you know, along the way. I tried a crankbait, a chatterbait, a jig, all those things. I just couldn't. I just couldn't get a fish to bite one of the uh, a moving bait, which is surprising because it was a nice, cloudy, cool morning. So I thought the fish would be pretty active, but turns out that I was completely wrong. That's how fishing goes, of course. You never know what to expect until you get there. And the fish are generally doing something you're not ready for. So anyway, I pulled up to the brush pile, first brush pile of the morning, uh, which is about midway back to the creek arm. And I fished around there for a little bit. We'll show you the first fish catch of the day. First fish of the day. Nice one. <clears throat> that was a pretty good fish to start off the day with. I had other, one other bite in the brush pile prior to that. And uh, it was one of those deals where it kind of caught me off guard because I hadn't been fishing in so long and really wasn't expecting a bite and I didn't set the hook in time. Luckily, I got this one in the boat. It was a solid two and a half to three pound fish. It's a good way to kick off the day. So like I say, I started in the middle of this creek arm, kind of worked my way almost to the back of it and didn't catch anything back there. So when I was coming back out towards the mouth of the creek, uh, around the little corner there, uh, is some more brush piles, kind of more uh, main lake stuff. Uh, There's a couple brush piles there and I decided to flip my bait into those and caught my second fish of the day. We'll look at it right now. Another little bitty guy. I don't know if you can see that. He has a plastic worm in his mouth. <laughs> he still wasn't scared. <laughs> What's crazy about that catch is that fish had a plastic worm nearly all the way down his throat. Even though it had a plastic worm all the way down his throat, 
he wasn't scared to take on my bait too. For the next fish, uh, was just a couple of pitches later, pretty much into the same brush pile, uh, I caught this fish. little bitty guy now these are really tiny fish but you know I stopped at three brush piles by then and I decided that boy it's gonna be good because this lake they put a lot of brush piles in it when it got real low and they're easy to find and I thought man the fishing's gonna be on but I fished for about another hour and a half or so and didn't hardly catch anything I was kind of, kind of bummed out about that. So I moved out to some main lake stuff. I thought that the fish would be more in the main lake because it's the towards getting towards the end of June here and the water was 83 degrees. And I assumed that the fish would be out on the main lake. So I went out there and fished some main lake structure. Some uh, There's a rock jetty out there and also a main lake point. And I didn't catch anything off of the, any of that stuff on the main lake, which is surprising. I thought that's where the fish were going to be, but all day I proved to be uh, wrong, wrong on that because every fish I caught was uh, back up in the creek. I went back up into another little creek tributary, and of course my camera batteries died at this point. <laughs> GoPro batteries don't last very long, but I uh, pulled up to another brush pile, caught two real quick fish off of this, and then. I decided yeah, I'm just going to go on to the back of this creek and I fished all the way back into the back of it and was just trying to move my way out and I caught another really nice fish. Now, like I say, I didn't get the hook set or the catch on film, but I did, I did videotape the fish when I got into the boat on my iPhone. So let's take a look at that now. Just caught this fish way up in the creek. It's a nice fish, about two and a half pounds. Oh. Caught up in a lay down, just like all the rest of them. Nice one. Again, I was real surprised at the location of the fish. I guess there must be in a transition period. I, I just assumed that they'd all be out on the main lake, but I guess they're just going to be scattered all over everywhere uh, this time of year. Like I say, it's late June, the water's 83 degrees, so they must be just coming off post spawn. To my surprise, they all seem to be in the creeks. Uh, at least today they were. They all seem to be on wood and not necessarily lay downs, but uh, brush piles that were planted uh, by, the, by the city. I didn't catch any off lay downs actually. I fished quite a few of those, but those seem to be really shallow, shallow too shallow. Uh, the fish all just seem to be in five to six foot of water uh, holding on those brush piles. Every bait that I, every fish that I caught today came off an old faithful of mine. If I can get in focus there. That's a blue fleck brush hog. The water was really clear out there and I just happened to have this tied on and started pitching it and uh, started catching fish on it. And I don't really argue with the fish when they tell me what they want to eat so I just kept fishing it. Now maybe I could have caught something if I'd have went to a more nat some more fish if I'd have went to a more natural color, but it seemed to be catching fish, and so I just decided to stick with it. And I tried to, like I say, I tried several other baits, didn't catch have any luck on those other baits, especially the moving baits. You really can't beat an old faithful like the old baby brush hog from Zoom. <laughs> they keep trying to make these baits fancier and fancier. When you look at it, it seems like the old simple ones, they fish just as good as they always have. All in all, it was a pretty good day of fishing. I probably caught about 10 fish total. Uh, two, like I say, two of the fish were two and a half to three pounds. All the rest of them were pretty, pretty small, but it sure was nice to 
get out there and do some fishing. Haven't been since the springtime. Nice relaxing day and was glad to get to go today. Another thing today was the snakes were out. So <laughs> if you're going out there, be careful when you pull up to them brush piles because in almost every brush pile, there was a snake, a big old fat water snake. So uh, while they're not venomous, they are pretty uh, territorial. So be careful you're going out there and have fun and catch lots of fish. Thanks for watching.